I'm a vegetarian and I'm kind of small. And I am a meat eater and I'm pretty big. Yeah, but in the rest of the animal kingdom, it's just the opposite. Hey guys, Julia and Trace here for G News. Take a look across the African savanna and you'll see massive animals like six ton elephants and 1.4 ton giraffes. But you'll only spot a few top predators like 350 pound lions and 160 pound cheetahs. The top five largest land animals on the planet are all plant eaters. Why are so many herbivores so much larger than carnivores? Well, some researchers think it's an evolutionary advantage. It's harder to take down an elephant if you're just one lion. That's why they have almost no natural predators. Or maybe it's what they eat. Some researchers think herbivores grow so big so their stomachs have more room to digest the massive amount of plant material that they need to survive. And that plant material is actually really healthy for them. It's where the most energy is. As you move up the food chain from producers like plants to consumers like herbivores and carnivores, energy conservation gets lost. This is in line with the second law of thermodynamics. Matthew Lewis, senior program officer for African Species Conservation at the World Wildlife Fund, says there's a 10% loss of energy at each stage removed from plants. But it's hard work to get all the nutrients they need out of plants, so many plant eaters have to spend most of their day eating plants. Elephants, for example, eat between 200 and 600 pounds of food a day and will spend up to 18 hours just eating. Yeah, that's a lot of time to eat. Sounds okay though. Yeah, like college. Even the evolution of big plant eaters takes a while. According to a study published in the Journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, it takes 24 million generations for an animal to get really large over the past 70 million years. The authors conclude that since it takes so much time to get big, Earth isn't likely to see another animal like the elephant as long as humans remain the dominant species. The way predators hunt will also affect their size. According to a study published in PLOS One, hunters typically travel large distances to find their prey. The hunt includes an intense chase and a takedown. All of these things take enormous amounts of energy. So the ratio of energy intake and expenditure constrains large predator size. The researchers found that a big carnivore can't get any bigger than one ton. One of the lead authors said carnivores, because of the cost of hunting, can never achieve the sizes and intake rate of prey of the largest herbivores. Other researchers believe it's the way predators are built that might limit their size. Animals that exclusively eat meat, like cats for example, need to have a flexed limb stance in order to pounce on their prey. A bigger body, like something over 440 pounds, wouldn't support something like that stance. A small female giraffe could weigh 1,760 pounds, while a large male lion might only weigh around 400 pounds. So a meat eater the size of an elephant would just not be an efficient predator. And this supports an earlier idea from ecologist Paul Collenbaugh, who believes that a predator has to expend a lot of energy hunting down their food. So having a large body to support would be cumbersome. That is why he believes big, fierce animals are rare. And they're rare in other ways too. As we mentioned earlier, there's often more prey than predators in an ecosystem. This is an evolutionary advantage to keep populations in check. If you have too many predators, they'll wind up gobbling all their food up and then they won't have any more and they'll starve. A big animal has to conserve its energy for the next meal, mostly by sleeping. So the best predator is rare, not too big, and kind of lazy. That sounds like a kitty. Or kind of like me. <laughs> so how big do you think humans can get? Mm -hmm. To find out that answer, check out this video right here. The reason we don't just keep getting larger is we actually have to live in the world. Gravity is constantly pulling us down, requiring our bodies to create bones which counteract that force to hold us up. Are you a really big vegetarian or like a really small carnivore? Let us know down in the comments and keep coming back here every day for more D News. See you next time. I'm hungry. Me too. You wanna go grab a burger? A veggie burger? <laughs>